Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today we have round two of my eyeshadow roulette series. So this is a series that was inspired by the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan that was started by Alexandra Shostin here on YouTube. And I first heard about it through Too Much Tosh, but basically the way that I'm doing it is I'm not focusing so much on trying to pan the eyeshadows as I am just kind of trying to rotate through all the eyeshadows that I own. So last month was the first month that I did this, and I used random.org to select five pans of eyeshadow randomly across my entire collection. Every palette was fair game, every single shadow that I own was fair game. None of my liquid shadows, just powder shadows here. I had so much fun with this last month, definitely planning on continuing to make this a monthly series, and it's mostly just to make sure all of my eyeshadows are getting used and experiment with color combinations that I may not have thought of using uh, before. So. Last month we had four different palettes and one of my ColourPop singles involved. So it was, you know, a combination of colors that I had never worked with before. Um, so I'm going to kind of recap last month's picks and then we're going to choose my five shadows for the next month. So it just so happens that this series is kind of starting right around the 20th or the 21st of the month. I don't know. That's just kind of when it started happening. So I'm just going to be updating these monthly around the 20th, sort of just like the end of each month. The first shadow that we had last month was... Um, the shade Golden Ochre from Modern Renaissance. So that's just kind of a mid-toned matte beige color. Kind of an odd color. Doesn't necessarily go with a lot of looks because it's kind of kind of almost like a very muted mustardy color. But I was able to make that work and I used it quite a bit throughout the month. I will show close-ups of each of these to show kind of my progress on them. My goal was more just to use these and not so much to hit pan. It didn't really seem like a realistic goal for a lot of these to hit pan on any of them within the month because some of them I had hardly even used. Um, and I tend to, it, it takes me a long time to hit pan on matte shades, so I didn't hit pan on this, but I will kind of show you my progress over the course of the month, just so you can see. But, um, and I apologize, I was gonna try to tally how many times I used each of these shades, and I totally failed. I, I just didn't have the, <laughs> the dedication to remember to do that every time I used each one, so I apologize. A lot of times I'm doing my makeup kind of in a hurry, so it's hard for me to remember, but um, there's that one. The next shade was from the Soft Glam palette, and this was the shade Sultry, which is kind of a very uh, chunky, glittery, burgundy shade. I used this a bunch this month, and I figured out that I don't really love that shade as much as I thought I did. I do love the concept of that kind of a color, but it's just kind of chunky, not as buttery as I feel like it could be. Um, sort of similar to a lot of the foil shades in the Norvina palette, but I really did enjoy that color once it was on the lids. The next shadow we had was the shade Glass Bowl from ColourPop. This was what really brought a lot of like versatility to this group of shadows because when I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to any look that I was doing with them, this is what I used. This is a beautiful kind of transformer shade. It's a duochrome, kind of reddish purplish aqua blue color. I love this this shade. I fell even more in love with it this month. I was thinking I could maybe hit pan on it, but I, I didn't, and that's fine. <laughs> but I use this a lot as kind of like a pop in the center of the lid. Sometimes I just wear it all over the lid and then blended it out with the shade Golden Ochre from Modern Renaissance that I have a picture of it used like that. Um, and I'll try to insert as many pictures as I took of these throughout the month. So that was kind of the standout shade for this month because most of the other shades were kind of like browns and like neutrals. A lot of like normal kind of mid-toned deepish colors. So that definitely added a lot of like fun um, brightness to this group of shadows. The next shade we picked was one of my least favorite shadows in my collection, but it's from the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette, and it's this deepest purple shade right here. This is one of those shadows that has kind of like a grayish black base and like purple shimmer mixed in, but when it goes on the eyes, it just looks gray. I used this actually a lot this month. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. I used it a lot as kind of like a soft winged liner on the upper lash line. And it did fine for that. Um, it, you know, I'm glad that I was able to find a purpose for it and use it uh, for this challenge. It's not a shade that I'm going to continue to use a ton. It's not like now one of my favorite shades, but it's still, I'm glad that there's a purpose for it. And when I do use this palette, I know that I can use it for that. And um, it does a nice job. It's very soft, not super pigmented, so I do have to kind of build it. But when I want just like a soft, 
winged liner or a little like, you know, smudge, smoky liner on the lower lash line. It works well for that. I just can't be expecting like a, a beautiful deep purple because that's not really how it, how it translates onto the eyes. And the last shade that we had last month was the shade Funny from the Balm Nude Dude Palette. It's just a slightly shimmery deep brown, kind of a reddish brown. Um, it looks reddish brown in the pan, but then on the eyes it kind of just looks not quite as warm as it looks in the pan. I think it was really the fact that this shade was in my eyeshadow roulette this month that inspired me to put this whole palette into my project pan. So for the project pan, I'm not so much focusing, I'm not trying to pan the whole palette. I'm mostly trying to hit pan on faithful and flirty, but I ended up doing a lot of looks with this palette because Funny was in the eyeshadow roulette. I kind of just like was re-inspired by this and that's sort of I guess why I ended up putting it in the project pan. I think that's part of it at least. So I did take a few pictures of me using that palette. Yeah, I wore this whole palette a lot and I used that shade in particular a lot for just uh, a kind of as a crease color to deepen up the outer corner, um, to kind of smudge on the lower lash line, just like a soft brown for the lower lash line. I didn't use all five shades in every single look that I wore on my eyes this month, but I did come up with one look where I ch challenged myself to use every shade in here and I actually loved the result. I didn't know if I would. I was kind of doubting my ability to come up with a cohesive eye look, but I was really satisfied with the way that that ended up looking. Um, if you want to see how all that came together, again, it's in my um, most recent Get Ready With Me, but I'll also put a picture up on the screen to kind of show you. And it ended up kind of looking almost like like an oil slick with the browns and then the ColourPop glass bowl kind of in the center gave it a little bit of that like reflective like oil on pavement type of quality. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I had so much fun with this and I am dying of excitement to choose the next five shades for this next month. So let's just get to it. So kind of in a spreadsheet, I just have a list of all the pans of eyeshadow that I own. Last month I did actually declutter two single shadows. I de decluttered my Wet n Wild Brulee and also Bake Sale from Makeup Geek. So two pans of eyeshadow left my collection, but then I did introduce 10 new pans of eyeshadow in um, that are all are in this palette. This is the Billy Beauty Eyes of India eyeshadow palette. Rianne HY, if you guys watch her, she's also known as Wife Life. She did a video using this palette and I fell in love with it immediately. She was wearing such a gorgeous look with kind of the royal blue as like the statement shade. And so I bought this palette this month. So now we have this entering my collection. Um, just wanted to let you know. So now I own, let's see, how many shades do I own? I now own 149 pans of eyeshadow. I guess I had 141 last month. Does that sound right? So I'm gonna open up random.org and go ahead and select five new shades. Uh, similarly to the way that I do my four weeks for lipsticks, if I get any repeats from previous months, I'm gonna select a new one because I want I just want to have a new, completely new round each month. So I'm typing 1 uh, through 141 in my random.org app, and we're going to generate the first number. I don't know if I can do this on camera. Okay, we got 129. Okay, so that is from ColourPop. Ooh, this is one of my favorite single shadows. That is the shade Howlin' from ColourPop. So that is a matte pastel lavender shade. I love this color so much. That's exciting. I'm glad that we got a color <laughs> right off the bat because last month it was just so much like brown. <laughs> so um, nice to see that we'll have some variety this month. All right, let's pick the next one. Right, so I ended up with 33. Okay, so that's from the Soft Glam palette. Oh, I actually have this one on my eyes right now. That's the shade Glistening. That is one of my all time favorite lid shades. It's uh, gold with like a hint of rose, like a, something kind of rosy in there. <laughs> it's a really pretty gold. Um, ooh, I already think that that would make a beautiful look, just um, howling in the crease and glistening on the lid. Next, we have 75. So that is from Norvina, and it's the shade, whoops, the shade Wild Child, which is that shimmery pink. It's like a mid-toned pink with a little bit of a gold sheen to it. I don't, I haven't used that shade a whole lot, but I think that'll be really pretty with the purple. We're gonna get a lot of like, very spring appropriate looks with this group of shades, at least so far. And I would like to, again, try to create a co somewhat cohesive look using all five. It's good, probably gonna be a challenge because they're just totally random, but. All right, next, 118. That is also from ColourPop and it's the shade Beam Me Up. I have a hard time saying that, beam me up. That is kind of a silvery bluish 
shimmer. So we now have four shades, now we just want to pick one more. This is our fifth and final shade for the month, um, and we got 62. Okay, so that's from another palette. This is the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. And it's the shade Brunettes Have Fun. So which one is that? It's this matte kind of chocolate brown color. I like that we have that to kind of ground this group of shadows because it's kind of a lot. So here are all five of those shadows swatched together. Very interesting grouping of colors, wouldn't you say? So that is Howlin' from ColourPop. Then we have Glistening from the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Wild Child from the Anastasia Norvina palette. Beam Me Up from ColourPop, and then the shade Brunettes Have Fun from the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. So, hmm, I'm <laughs> already just trying to think, how am I gonna pair all five of these together in one look? But I think it's a pretty selection. I kind of like the pastel, like a, the springy pastel vibe we have going on here. I definitely don't plan to wear all five of those shades together every time I wear them. I'll probably, sometimes I'll probably use like glistening and brunettes have fun for just kind of like a neutral look. Um, and I'll of course also pull in other shadows from my collection. I'm not just limited to these. So if I want to do a neutral look, I'll probably use those. If I want to do something more colorful, maybe I'll, you know, just use Howlin or you know, just use the pink on the lid and pull in other shadows from my collection. But I'm really excited to get more use out of each of these shades, both individually and all together, and kind of see what we can do with them. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope that this is as fun to watch as it is for me to do it, because I just think this is such a cool way to kind of get creative with my eyeshadows. And I feel like this is also going to be a good way to kind of keep from getting bored with the shadows that I have because I really do have a lot of variety within my eyeshadow collection. I like that we have three kind of more colorful shades this month, the purple, the pink, the kind of light bluish silvery color. So I think there's a lot I can do with this grouping of colors. Last month's group was a little weird. It was like a lot of browns and then um, like one sort of colorful shade. But um, I'm excited to see what we can do with this group of colors and I'm excited to keep this series going because I think that this is just a really great way to switch things up and have fun with what you already have and also get creative and, and use you know groups of colors that you might not have ever thought to use together. So highly recommend doing this if you have a, a fairly large eyeshadow collection or if you have more than like 20 pans of eyeshadow in your collection. I think this will be a really fun experiment to try. And like I said last month, the overall goal isn't really to hit pan, but if I were to hit pan on any of these shadows, I would definitely be really excited. <laughs> so that, that would be kind of like a fun bonus if I do end up hitting pan, but it's not like the ultimate goal. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.